Great. Day four of the investigation. And we haven't got nothing except for our clues of stolen golf balls. Yeah, I know, Warden Elizabeth. Ah, goodness gracious. Oh, man. <sighs> and I tell you, um, the way it's been going right now, no luck at all. Nope. No, absolutely not, Tannerin. Right now. What the? Hang on, let me, let me get that. I believe I got a text message or something like that. Oh, I got it upside down. When are you gonna... When are you ever going to get the evidence so we can put it on the news? Oh, my God. Who, who, who is that, Elizabeth? Ross! Oh my god. <sighs> See? He's... He's pushing my very last button. He really is, Tanner. Oh yeah, no doubt about that. He wants... He wants down on the news so badly he do. Yes! So frustrating, you know? I hope he's not... Uh, I hope he's not... Mm, like, uh, why am I pacing around in the place for? Well, gee, I don't know. Well, anyways, um, I hope Ross Tilly is not, uh, like going over there and, um, and, and pretty much gonna get on, uh, pretty much gonna get on Officer William Price's case about it because he's trying the best he can, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and by the way, uh, who do you think might have stole those golf balls? Well, gee, I don't know. But, but we gotta find one real soon. And, uh, and that will, that will probably might, uh, that will probably might bring, uh, bring more clues to it. Hopefully cross fingers, you know, because, because right now, the past four days, we've been getting nothing. And now Ross is, Ross is getting on my very last nerve about how he wants to put this on the news. Oh God, now Ross, what are you doing here now? I want that news, uh, I want that news to end, and I want it so badly. Could you calm down, Ross? I love doing this job, and it's what I like to do. Look, Ross, I know that's what you likes to do, okay? But we haven't got enough evidence to get to the bottom of this crime scene that just happened in French Fist Cove, okay? So right now you uh right now my suggestion to you right now is that you calm down, alright? What? You telling me to calm down? You promised me evidence. You'll get your evidence, Ross Tilly. Now I've been in the FBI for almost fifteen years now yeah. I've been in the FBI for almost fifteen years now, and little boys like you had to pack it all on the pier. I always find the evidence! Always! And I will this time! So fuck with me! Yes, Officer William Price. Stolen golf balls. And a little kid's dead body. No evidence of Erica. Just whatsoever. At this crime scene. Hmm.
Hey, what's this? Well, what is it? Uh, what is it, Warden Elizabeth? Hmm. Looks like it's, uh, it's, it's Officer William Price, Jonathan. Wow. Yeah, but I just got a text from him. It says that, um, it says that Ross Tilly's been in his, uh, and been in his office getting on his case about how, uh, how he promised him the evidence to put on the news. Oh my, dang it, you see? Why well, can't, like, um, hang on a second, Jonathan. Where are we to? Oh, I'm at Lucas's dining with Jonathan. All right, when you get back to the station, shortly. All right. Uh, I was kind of surprised. I thought you were heading to St. I thought you were heading to St. John's. No, I was heading to Ireland, and um, and. And I was heading to do a vi music video to to honor Dolores O'Riordan's memory and and all of her music. Oh, so you're a musician, Jonathan? Yeah, that was uh, uh, that was on its first trip. Yep, this is my first trip. I live in Toronto, and I I I've, I've been in the Air Canada Center to get a flight to Ireland and uh, and to meet all the Ireland people and uh. And, and perform to them. Mm, sounds like a lot of fun, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun, Warden Elizabeth. It sure is, my friend. Man. Hello. Oh, no, no, calm down, with Officer William Price. It's only me, Tanner. What? That the reporter was in your office, and anyone get off your case? Oh. I was wondering, um, I was wondering what's with all the big racket down there, Officer William Price. Yeah. Yeah, I just interviewed, um, I just interviewed, uh, the two kids that had their fingerprints on it. Yeah, they said it, that was for, uh, that was part of the, uh, part of the school tradition that they were doing, according to that school. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, it, it looked like, the it looked like. That rock wasn't used as a blunt object. Oh no. Tom yeah, tomorrow we gotta get up and, uh, tomorrow we gotta get up and find one, one of the golf balls and everything because, uh, because right now, uh, yeah, that's another, uh, that's another piece of evidence that, uh, that, that we need to get off of, you know. Yeah, absolutely right. They could be DNA on that. And and the more DNA we have, the more clues we could, like, uh, the more clues that we can get. Right on. Yep. All right, I'll need you to get back to your work. All right. Bye. Man. Like, seriously... He really didn't have to yell like that. Oh, I'm so stressed out right now. I cannot believe how how fast the day went. Like literally. We gotta get we gotta get those golf. Tomorrow, one way or the other, and and if we can at least just get one, oh, get.
get one golf ball, maybe, maybe that will lead us to more clues. Whew, I guess we'll see what, uh, I guess we'll see what tomorrow brings.